A staggering 150 billion pieces of mail move through the U.S. postal system each year, including nearly 6 billion packages. Postal inspectors say there are certain telltale signs of suspect packages, often lopsided with an irregular shape, sometimes with protruding wires, aluminum foil, or stains. Suspects often use excessive postage to avoid going inside the post office. Their handwriting often distorted, and the return address is often fake. This looks very suspicious. Emma says security screens packages for government agencies and corporations all over the world. X-ray images are transmitted to the New York Command Center for analysis by veteran bomb squad officers, now on high alert. The fact that none of these devices uh, have gone off should not provide any comfort. Um, we're not completely sure of what the fusing was. The threat remains and the threat should be considered active and viable. While the Postal Service has systems to detect explosives or biochemical agents, it can be like a needle in a haystack. The Secret Service screens the mail for anyone receiving protection, including former presidents. Capitol Police screen mail for members of Congress. And since 9-11, many companies, including media companies, have been scanning their own mail. But most American families and small businesses are on their own to watch for suspect packages. This is really going to come down to people being aware of their surroundings, what they're expecting and not uh, expecting. If it doesn't look right, isolate the package, evacuate, and call police. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.